Okay. Hey everybody, I'm Amy and this is your music news. Well, if you were on Google on June 9th, otherwise known as Les Paul's 96th birthday celebration, you might have checked out the Google Doodle. It was an interactive tool that allowed you to create rock and songs with a online makeshift guitar. It was a huge hit attracting about 740 million viewers in the course of two days. Now fear not if you did not get a chance to check it out because Google announced they are creating a permanent home for the Google Doodle. You can also check it out at lespaulfoundation.org. Things are really heating up for mariachi bands in Los Angeles. Apparently competition is so fierce among the groups, they are breaking out into fistfights and shouting matches. In order to combat mariachi piracy, which is when a mariachi group charges too little for a gig, they've created a union of sorts called the United Mariachi Organization of Los Angeles. Although it has its naysayers, it's attracted about 150 members so far, all who have agreed to be paid no less than $50 per hour per gig. If you're craving a new workout for your regimen and want it to closely resemble maybe one of your gigs, you're going to want to check out the latest trend. It's called Pound Classes and it uses weighted or wooden drumsticks which participants bang on the ground or pound on the ground. So how did the idea spawn? Well, the creators actually got the idea after attending a Hollywood party where Guns N' Roses' Matt Sorum had just performed a killer drum solo. They noticed not only did it work his arms, but he worked his core body as well. Now, of course, the classes are only available in Los Angeles at the current time, but check out next year because they're going to be spreading throughout the country, specifically in New York City. I'm sure a lot of you musicians out there have covered a Doors tune or two in your life. You might want to check out the latest acoustic twist on classics like Break On Through and Love Me Two Times. The new album All Wooden Doors was performed by Cliff Eberhardt and James Lee Stanley, two guitarists who have covered 12 classic Doors cuts. Now perhaps even more fascinating are the guests they've asked to join the ride, including Robbie Krieger and John Densmore of The Doors, as well as Peter Tork of The Monkees. All Wind Doors will be out on July 12th through MVD Entertainment. The latest addition in our Cyber Stash segment is a site that's one of the most fascinating that we've come across in recent times. Windworld.com is driven by a group called Experimental Musical Instruments, and they feature exactly what you might expect non-traditional instrumentation. Now, they started off publishing journals and things of that nature, but they've concentrated on CDs, books, and hardware. So if you're curious what a peace deity or perhaps a musical siren might look or sound like, you're going to want to check out winworld.com. I'm Amy, and this has been your Music News.